it's morning time and it's time to start moving. The U-Haul truck's outside. It's that time guys, the time has come. Tell me if any of you are on the side of a U-Haul. I just learned today that you can send pictures into U-Haul and get your picture on the side of one of these. Tell me if you see yourself. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Nice trailer. Oh, I thought that was a Corvette. No, it's just a trailer. Oh, never mind. I should take a picture of myself and send it into U-Haul, see if I can get my picture on the side of a U-Haul. <laughs> you guys want to see inside? Come on, man. Nice. We got the 26 footer so that we can do it all in one shot. I think we should be able to fit everything in there. All I gotta do is move this. This deck is a little low. They do that for convenience, but for my sake, it's not really that convenient. There we go. And I just got one step to go down. There we go. Let's get this done. Diesel, you want to see this thing? Come here. He's like, I don't know what it is, man. I'm kind of scared of it. Go in the truck. Go in the truck, man. Yeah, get in there. Good boy. Good boy. All right, see you later. <laughs> don't, man. Why'd you lock me in there? Oh, it's very nice. Come here. Diesel, come here. Good boy. So, I guess we can fill up the mum's attic, that's what they call it first. Fill this up here. And we'll get to packing. So the vlog today will be about moving. Okay, because that's what's happening in my life today. We're moving. That's right. Little disclaimer, we're not going trucking today. I warned you yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that. So if you want trucking videos, I'm with you, I want them too. But you're gonna have to wait, just like me. I have to wait, you have to wait too. It's only fair. <laughs> but sort of, we're sort of trucking. I mean, like that, that that's a truck, right? Right, right, Diesel? We could consider this a trucking vlog because there's a truck involved. All I have to do is remember to include a picture of a truck in every vlog. <laughs> and then it'll be a trucking vlog. Oh boy, I, I just find it hilarious. <laughs> oh boy, I would love to be in the truck every single day. Not. Okay, Diesel, come on, let's get your pen, man. You gotta hang out in here so you don't get in the way. All right, bud, I don't have to watch you. You got food and water in your house, okay? Sorry, <laughs> scared him. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready to do this? Are you guys gonna help carry, or is it, or is it just me? It's gonna be all me, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be all me. Well, we're here at work. Throwing the garbage out into our big fancy garbage bin. What a better way to start the day with garbage, right? Okay, so we're here at the yard. I got my home insurance all taken care of. My new home is insured. Now I gotta go jump into my truck, take it over to where I'm gonna get it safetyed. Get it safetyed so we know it's safe for another six months. Every six months, you gotta get a new safety. On four-wheelers, you only got to get a safety once, right? And then it's good forever, as long as you own the vehicle, depending on where you live. That's how it is here. Trucks, however, trucks have to get safety every six months. And that makes sense. It's to keep you guys safe out there. Here she is. In all her glory. Oh. Yeah, she's purring like a nice little kitty. What am I saying? She's not a kitty. It's a lion. Right? Right? Everybody? Yeah. No? No? She's an angry kitty. But I don't got a cat engine. Uh, for those of you who don't know trucks, uh, I'm talking about uh, engines. Uh, I actually do not have a cat engine in here. Uh, we would call them kitty cats if they had a cat engine. 
I just thought of that after I said that, that it didn't make sense that I was calling my cat, or my truck, a kitty, because she doesn't have a kitty. She's got a German-made Mercedes engine in there. Yes, I know, not a big fan of Mercedes. I mean, a lot of people are not a big fan of Mercedes here in North America, that's fine. I'm a fan of any truck that moves and makes me money. So far, I am a fan of this girl. She has been a trooper. Her engine has been really well maintained. I've got the oil samples back. It's doing really good. I'm happy with this engine. Yeah, it's Mercedes, a little bit underpowered. Made in Germany. I think it's actually made in the States, isn't it? But it's German products. But hey, I have German heritage. Did you know that? I am German. So I'm only supporting my ancestors. But I do not support them in everything they did. They got a little crazy there in the 40s, didn't they? Uh, that was not very nice. We were already in Canada at that point, so we were already Canadians, and I do not associate with those ones. But <laughs> What are we talking about? Let's go get this truck safety and make sure she's safe to drive. How about that? All right, we're here. He's a sign on the door that says Vehicle Safety Inspection Station. So I know I'm at the right place. Let's go in and, uh, or I'm gonna go in and talk to them and leave you guys in here. And we're gonna get this truck safety so that I can go and continue moving. I just talked to the realtor. We're taking possession at 11 a.m. tomorrow. I was hoping for a little earlier. But, no, oh, what can you do? What can you do? That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of cookies, I'm hungry. Oh, everything is pretty much gone. It never ends. It never ends. We'll show you what we've done so far. There's the second load. And the helper. That's it. Yep. You're the helper boy. And the U-Haul way out there yet. Everything's all set to go. Lots of good memories in this place. Yeah, Cheryl, my sister, had this place before me, and now I had it. Now it's gone. Once I leave here, I'll never see it again on the inside. That's it, yeah. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I think it's, it went pretty well, though. Just got to get the TV and these two big things yet. And I just got to clean the place down, and then we're done. I'm sleeping at mom and dad's today. That's it. Go to, the, go to the original home. Yeah, it'll be nice. Maybe they'll make me breakfast, make me supper. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure that'll happen, you know. <laughs> well, this is the last walk through the yard. I'm actually looking for my keys. Lost my keys. <laughs> I don't know if I packed them away somewhere or if I left them with dad. Dad took off. Look at this. Doesn't it look strange without Diesel's house here? I met the guy who's buying my house today, and he actually really liked the dog run. He's probably going to leave it here, so that's good news for me. He might be getting a dog, and so he could use my dog run. Or his dog run. As of the 29th of August, 2014, this house is no longer mine. Or this trailer. And of as of tomorrow, the 26th, the other house... The new house is mine. So technically for the 26th, 27th, 28th, three days, I own two houses. Baller. That's right. So I'm trying to figure out where I left those keys. I had them to drive the bike up onto the trailer when the trailer was here. I'm pretty sure I took them inside and I probably put them down somewhere, but I cleaned all the floors inside already so I didn't want to walk through there and leave footprints. I'm gonna have to do that. So I don't think I left them out here, unless if I left them in my bike. If I can't find them, I'll just call my dad and get him to check the bike because I might have left them right in the bike. But I'm pretty sure I didn't do that because I'm usually smarter than that. I'd like to think I was smarter than that anyways. Maybe I left them in my jacket pockets for the bike. I should check. <sighs> moving, moving. Sad yet exciting at the same time. Found them. They were buried under everything on my seat in the U-Haul here. So no worries people, we found our keys. We've emptied out the house, we've locked it up. We said our goodbyes. 
which was sort of like, see you later, man, whatever. Off to bigger and better things, if you know what I mean. You were only a stepping stone. I guess that sounds a little mean. <laughs> I really did love this house. I had a lot of plans for it, actually, to uh, fix it up and whatnot, but I just I kept thinking to myself, if I can't even bring my truck home, I can't even bring my business to my house, like, what's the point of spending all the money into fixing it up, right? So this next guy who's buying it has a lot of plans to do everything that I wanted to do. So maybe we'll come by here uh, next year and see what he's all done to it. Just do a little drive-by. Be creepers. I'm good at that. Goodbye, trailer park. Never to see you again. Well, maybe not never, never, but my last time leaving this place. This U-Haul is a pile, I'm not gonna lie. They really need to update their equipment. Seriously, this U-Haul is like from the 80s, maybe 70s, but I'm guessing 80s. Like, I hope it gets me there, that's all I want. I don't care if I can't return it, whatever, they can come get it. I just wanna get my stuff to my new house. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just be an interesting ride. I can't believe they let just regular drivers drive these things. You know, like people who've never uh, taken driver courses before, like just regular class five drivers. You should definitely need your class three to drive a U-Haul this big. That should be law. Fast forward to the next day. Hey Diesel, what are you doing in your cage, man? I'd like to know the same question, man. Huh? Poor guy. We're at my mom and dad's. Hanging out. Here's all my stuff. We're waiting to get the keys. Dad's doing something back here. Something very important. Dad gets the breaker going. Fixing it, yeah. Fix it. Fix it our style. You just hit it. That's the way we fix things in our family. <laughs> there it goes, see? And it works. You gotta tap the bulb, the bulb is a little old. <laughs> it doesn't always work like me. If it's broken, just hit it. Hey, that fixes it. Here's my whole life right in front of you. A whole life in there. Canada's moving adventure, but isn't it an American company? Wouldn't it be... America's moving adventure, and we're just. I think it, it, yeah, it originates from uh, from U.S. somewhere. The you plates know. are are Arizona. This is Dad's bike. He's been fixing it up. The Suzuki GS750. Look at that. He's been working on this all summer. He's waiting for a new seat to come in. He just got these new mirrors. I think he just got it safety actually. All right guys, so we're back in the U-Haul. We had some delays today that really worried me. Uh, I'll go into them in more detail later, but the lawyers ran into some issues when I did my land survey. Just leave it at that. We'll say not, not everything was up to code. So they had to spend the entire day, not lying, the entire day, going through all the legal things about how to fix it and make it okay. So everything's up to code now or it's, it's okay now, we should say. Whoever built it, built the house a little big for the lot that it's on. I don't know how that happens because they have to give out building permits, right? So I'm thinking that when they built the house, the building permit laws were different than they are now. So they had to get a variant agreement or something, get some insurance for me just in case if the, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, I don't know. The, the point is we got the keys now, or we're getting the keys. Uh, the realtors meeting us at the house within 10 minutes of the lawyer's office closing. They they almost had to wait until tomorrow, or I almost had to wait till tomorrow to move in. And then you know how the expenses build up. Like, you know, everyone took off work to help me move in today. I wouldn't have any help tomorrow, and I'd have to keep the truck another extra day. And it was just really, really sucked. 
So I'm very thankful. We're getting the keys. It's end of the day. It's like 4 o'clock. It'll be 4.30 by the time we get there. We can start unloading tonight and everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be good. Really was stressing me out. I thought I wasn't going to get my keys today. The lawyers wouldn't give me my keys until everything was legal, right? All this legal stuff. Man, I should have been a lawyer. I wonder how much they charged me to work on all this stuff today. I'm glad I did it because if I hadn't have done that land survey, we wouldn't have known about these uh, problems, right? And it would have been my cost to fix it later. Now it's the seller's cost. So there's no cost to me to fix it. It's, it's a good thing I did the land survey. So when you're buying properties, get a land survey just in case. You should also get a home inspection done too. That just covers your butt. If there's anything wrong with the land, the property, or the house, that way you're covered and you don't have to pay for it later, right? All right, let's move. New house, here we come. Trucking down the long highway to nowhere. As we go deeper and deeper into the bush, we get closer and closer to home. This U-Haul is a pile, just so you know. It's a pile. It's a pile of stuff you don't usually want a pile of. But we're getting there, hopefully in one piece. There's just enough room for a weasel in that corner. Good boy. Yeah, we're almost there. I know it's boring. That's the point. What do you think, Dad? Hey, hard. Big enough? <laughs> if it ain't big enough, it's got to be something wrong. This I'll, is big enough. I'll grow into it. Oh, yeah. This is my garage. This is all you guys get to see today. <laughs> and this is the furnace, I guess, but... Yeah. Oh, I got a nice little Harley Davidson poster that they left me, or a picture. Yeah, so now to get all of that into this garage. And the bike over there, the bike's hiding over there. Yeah. Get the bike in front, I mean, right close to the door, right? Yeah, I got a nice little parking area right here for my bike. Yeah. That's right out of the way. Right there and bike right there. Yeah. Perfect. I just finished riding it all around my yard. Cause it's my yard and I can do that. My sister bought me a sucker. And this is the yard. Come on, Diesel, this way. Diesel, come here. Go run, go run, man. Look at all of this. Oh, yeah. So much space. So this is the new yard. We just finished getting everything in. We just gotta put Diesel's house back here somewhere. That's my tree. That is my tree. I own that tree. My tree. Diesel, that's my tree. You can't have it. Don't pee on it. Good boy. Hey, you can have that one. You can have the smaller ones. Huh? Well, that's the yard. Ah. Come here. Ah. That's not our yard, but... Oh, okay. Good boy. Well, guys, we're moved in. My family just left. It's like one in the morning. They're troopers. I'm so thankful for such a great family. I know you guys watch my videos. and When days like this happen, you sort of take a step back and you say, wow, I'm so grateful to have such good family members who just jump at the chance to help you and work until one in the morning on a weeknight to get me moved into my house and make sure I'm comfortable, help me unpack. My mom and my sister unpacked my kitchen and put it away for me, cleaned everything down. Like they stocked my fridge with what I had, cleaned my oven, 
clean my dishwasher, clean my sink, did my dishes, put my dishes away. It's just, wow, thanks guys for helping me. And now I'm just uh, working on the fish tank. Got to fill up the fish tank and you guys are going to get the official tour in the next video. I'm sorry, I don't mean to tease you like this, but it's been a very long day and I want to give you a proper tour, but I'll just give you a little like, ooh, hint. This is my house. And I'm tired, so I'm gonna be going to bed right away so I'm just putting away a few more things. I've gotta get this fish tank cleaned and done so that the fish are good to go. You guys are always so worried about my fish. You're such good people. You're worried. Don't worry about them guys. They're taken care of. Don't worry about it. Fish are fine. Don't worry. They're, they're fine. They're fine. Yes, there's a tube in there right now. It's because I gotta siphon it out of there. Now I gotta siphon the water back in. I'll explain it tomorrow. Thanks for joining me on this move, guys. It's been a stressful, Yet yeah, very good move. I'm very happy to be in here. So is Diesel. Diesel, where'd you go? Diesel. <whistles> oh, I gotta get up, man. It's one in the morning. I don't wanna get up. Diesel, get over here. Come on. Come say goodbye to everybody. You like the new house, man? Oh, I love it, man. This is lovely. Yeah. He's got such a big yard to run around in now. It's insane. Such a good boy, Diesel. You are a good boy. You deserve that yard. That yard is for you. That is your yard. What am I going to use it for, man? You use it to run around. Be a dog, man. And I'm going to end off on this note, guys. I just want to show you something real quick. Oh, I'll give you a tour tomorrow, but I have to show you this. I have to show you this. Dana, 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 dana. Boom! Yeah! Yeah! Best part of the whole house. <laughs> and on that note, I will see you tomorrow for the official house tour. Guys, I will see you then, 4 a.m. Central Time. It'll be up and live and ready for your eyes. See what I did there? My tired mind, I can still rhyme. That almost rhymed too. I better stop while I'm ahead. See you tomorrow, guys.